Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to ask the user to choose an item from a list we give them. They will then be able to use their keyboard to navigate that list and make a selection. Now, if you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So here I have a list already of names that I use in my applications as kind of placeholder names. What you're gonna do is choose which name you like the best. So to do that, we're gonna say string favorite name. We're gonna say, ansiconsole.prompt, which we learned about prompt in the last lesson, but we're gonna take it a bit farther than before. Instead of a just a text prompt, we're gonna say new selection prompt, and we're gonna say this is a type string. Now, this selection prompt, we're gonna say we need a title for it, and the title is, which is your favorite placeholder name. Now you can decorate these things and apply the, you know, the text decoration to if you want, but I'm just going to focus on the actual, um, the, the selection prompt itself. Now we're going to say, um, add choices and I'm going to pass in those names. So we're going to have these as options for our name. And then we're going to do a ANSI console dot markup line. And we'll do strand interpolation as well and say your favorite name is, and we'll put in red just so we have something to, to do that with, uh, favorite name. And then we're going to close out of the red and then put our period at the end. And there we go. So now we have our, our um, response here as well. Let's save this and run this in the console. And what we're going to get is a list of names. Notice that there's a list of all of our names. We can, we can use our cursor, I'm sorry, our, our keyboard arrows to go up and down this list and we find the one you want. And we say, oh, I think I want Sue Storm. So you hit enter and your favorite name is Sue Storm. Notice the, the list went away. And now we just see our your favorite name is Sue Storm. So that's how we can do a list. But what if that list is really long? Now our list isn't very long, but we can simulate it being long by saying, hey, let's not show more than four names at a time. How do you do that? We say dot page size and pass in four. Now four is ridiculously small, but for our list, we don't have a huge one. I want to show you the ability to have uh, a page. Now what happens to the rest of the names? They don't get displayed. So how do you know to see more? Well, we're going to add one more, which is more choices text. And let's put this um, in gray. So again, just to show you that you can do this um, with that the inline markup, if you like. We're going to say, we'll put in parentheses here and say, move down to reveal more choices. Something like that. So what is this going to do? Well, let's find out by trying it. And we do. No, see only four options. We have that gray move down to reveal more choices. If I do move down, notice I get the rest of our list and we can move back up to again, reveal the ones at the top. So if you have a very long list, but you don't want to have, you know, the, the console scrolling, you can put just maybe 10 or so on our, or 10 or 15 on a list and then allow the user to choose. The good news is either way, whenever you make a choice, well, then that list goes away. We just see uh, the next line, which of course this is, you know, shows the favorite that we've chosen here. So that's how we can do a, a selection, a selection prompt where we can say, hey, I want you to choose from this list 
and allow them to just use the arrow keys to select which wine instead of saying, hey, you know, the the choices are and have them retype it. Okay. So like before we had our our true and false, and we actually said yes or no instead because that was better for are you happy? Um, so we gave them two options. They had to type Y-E-S or N-O for their choices. But with this, we could just say, you know, put yes in here and no, and they can just use their arrow keys, select which one and hit enter. So prompt is a really cool addition to this. We are going to cover multi-select prompts in the future. Um, but for now, this is allows us to select one item out of a list. And it comes from, you know, a list of string or a string array or, you know, whatever that type is that it's coming from. It could be integers if you wanted to select what's your favorite number. Um, you could do that. So that is item selection. All right. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.